It's an open secret among transgender men. After coming out as trans, many of us develop an attraction for other men. While a lot of folks seem to suddenly be aware that trans men exist, I've been making films about us and for us for nearly 20 years. Hi, I'm Jules Roskam, an experimental nonfiction filmmaker and film professor. My films center facets of trans experience that have gone unexplored while creating new visual languages that do not require us to make ourselves an object of possible knowledge. This is an overarching project in my work, situating transness as a theoretical and aesthetic framework that threatens and transcends traditional binary modes of framing the world. Compelled by the radical potential of bodies that refuse to or simply cannot conform to society's expectations, my films have addressed the experiences of transgender men who bore children, the dominant constructions of transmasculine identity and the nature of community, how the trans body in motion opens up a space between gender, race, and time, producing pleasure in indeterminacy, and how the act of filmmaking can transform our traumatic experiences. I value and prioritize the people who participate in the filmmaking process over whatever that process might produce. And I come to this work as a space of mutual discovery, not extraction. I can hardly think of a representation of transgender men that has shown us as complex, desiring, and desirable people. My creative capital project will change that. Currently in the development phase, Desire Lines is a feature length experimental nonfiction film that issues a radical reframing of transmasculine sexuality through a collage like approach using sit down interviews, erotic encounters, observational footage, performed scenarios, and historical fiction. Desire Lines takes place primarily in the bathhouse a space that many cis and trans men cite as a place where they came to accept their bodies and to make sense of themselves within a lineage of queer desire. The film takes the bathhouse as a central hub, a place where we meet for sex and community, where early AIDS activism emerged, where disparate people and ideas could coalesce and transform. Reading backward through the archive, the film reimagines this past through the lens of transmasculine desire, writing us back into the history from which we are continually erased. Participants have been invited to write, embody, and perform their own bathhouse-related fantasies in moments that cleave open the space between fiction and reality, emphasizing fantasy as a powerful tool for seeing ourselves and our worlds elsewise. These and other scripted materials will be shot on a, uh, on a set we construct based on a number of historically significant bathhouses. Desire Lines brings dis distinct visual modes of address into conversation with each other. In the bathhouse, dark figures are rendered in cool tones and shape shift before our eyes. Artifacts of the film development process are intentionally visible inviting the recollection of human touch into frenetic, haptic depictions of intimacy. Archival footage appears over historical fiction like a palimpsest. Dating apps come to life and invade the documentary's real world. And textual interludes invite the viewer to sit in contemplative silence. I began this process with interviewing a wide array of trans men about why they think their desires have changed as their gender presentation has changed. I talked with men ages 20 to 70 who inhabit myriad embodied realities. Currently, I'm involved in archival research around bathhouses, and over the next six months, I will continue my interviews with community activists, epidemiologists, sex workers, and queer historians. With filming complete by the end of 2022, we're aiming for a 2024 festival premiere at Berlinale, Sundance, Art of the Real, or another venue you'd like to introduce me to. I am super pumped about making this film, which frankly, I have been thinking about making for almost 20 years, but I can't do it without more support. 
I am especially looking for a trans-identified co-writer with experience in fiction film, as well as producers. Perhaps someone knows Elliot Page and wants to introduce us. I think he'd be interested in the film. I'm also looking for a space in or around New York City to build our bathhouse set and film in during the summer of 2022. On a final and separate note, I'm working on building an artist residency and mentorship program in upstate New York for other trans artists. So if you know anything about that or you wanna support those efforts, I'd love to chat. Thank you so much for listening.